Hey guys, a quick video to let you know that the, the Long Island map that I've created, that I've been working on for the last few days, is done and I've uploaded it to the Steam Workshop. And there is a link in the video description to the map. So if you want to check it out, you want to, you want to try playing on it, go and check it out. Link in the video description. So what have I done to this map? Now, this map was originally created by uh, by Jeb. And uh, good job, Jeb, because as far as the... Um, like the map itself is concerned, it did a fantastic job. I love it. But I have changed a few things. So for example, I've put in Shore Acres down here uh, so that we've, we've got more people on, um, on Staten Island so that we can hopefully have a profitable Staten Island ferry running into Manhattan. I've redone every one of the bridges because the bridges were um, not, let's say, not great. So I've redone literally every single bridge. And I've done, um, I've done a fair amount of work on roads to try and get them uh, like a little bit closer to reality. So for example, this road down around here, going around here, uh, mirrors the Belt Parkway that, that goes around there. And later on, you, you might wanna, you might wanna put in a, a proper expressway going around there, but, um, but yeah. So uh, a lot of that and a, a lot of gridding around the place because um, as the traffic gets uh, worse later in the game, uh, you'll find that having these having these areas gridded really helps because otherwise the game creates really really stupid roads uh, that end up creating uh, very difficult junctions. Let's just put like I mean lots of little short junctions like this because this has put this road in here. The game's put that road in. Um, yeah, you get a lot of that kind of nonsense. Right. Uh, what are the big changes? The big changes. Manhattan. Lower Manhattan, I've completely redone the uh, the uh, this area here. Com completely redone the roads, uh, primarily because I've moved the Holland Tunnel. The Holland Tunnel is now where it actually should be here, uh, which is just slightly above the Williamsburg Bridge. Right. In fact, it probably should be about there in reality. But this was actually up here, um, which was. Um, yeah, it was that was causing like a fair amount of problems actually because um, you're getting traffic coming over the Manhattan uh, Bridge and over the Williamsburg Bridge and it was all getting snarled up here and it was pretty horrible. Um, so I've changed it and it's now it's now a lot more accurate because this this road that goes from the end of the Manhattan Bridge, this is the Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, Williamsburg Bridge. If you want to be able to remember it, BMW. This uh, this road that goes from here up to the Holland Tunnel. This is um, this is accurate, and this is Canal Street. Oh yeah, that's Canal Street going up there, and then you've actually got this junction, which is which is a realistic junction. This junction should actually be a bit further over, but it's called Five Points, and Five Points is called Five Points because it's got five roads going in and out of it. Oh yeah, right. What else? What else have I done? See, the, the game is going to start throwing in little roads like that, which you might want to get rid of. As, as the game progresses but yeah I've straightened up some of these roads uh, and created kind of like slightly better avenues what like going up here and whatever and then um, as we go further up oh I've done a lot of work on the roads in Jersey and same thing a lot of these roads were staggered so you'd have a road here and then the next road would start like just slightly over uh, and it created lots of little tiny junctions which cause huge problems in towns with the traffic. It's uh, it's a bit of a nightmare. So I've sorted the, all of that out on the Jersey side. Um, the towns have been shrunk down. The cities have been shrunk down like quite substantially. Uh, Lower Manhattan, Midtown Manhattan, Harlem, uh, Upper Manhattan were all like um, 200, and I've toned those down to like 85, which results in a, a, a an initial population of like just over 100. So. That's a hundred. Uh, that's a, let's see. Yeah, that's hundred and six. Midtown Manhattan is yeah, hundred and six. Harlem, hundred and six. I think I left Brooklyn at a hundred. Uh, yeah, because it's a, it's got a uh, an initial population of one hundred and thirteen, and I've got a sneaking suspicion that I did the same with the Bronx. Oh, actually, I think I think the Bronx maybe I made a little bit a little bit bigger, one twenty five. Cause, yeah, because it's got it's, it's got quite a big area to fill up the Bronx, but because um, because I left the Bronx a little bit bigger, um, we've I, I've, I've compensated for that by uh, now I have redone all these bridges, but 
I've added in two bridges in uh, right, like, right at the top of Manhattan. We've still got this, which is the Her Henry Hudson Bridge, uh, but I've added in the Broadway Bridge, and this is the University Heights Bridge, and that gives us much better access into the Bronx. So when the Bronx starts to grow up, there's uh, there's better routes in for the traffic and better routes up to uh, you know heading up to upstate New York. So that should uh, that should be a big improvement. Uh, what else? I just thought of something else. Oh yeah, now this is um, this is a fairly significant change as well. I have made all of this through here navigable, right? Now um, I did some work on this initially, and I think I showed it off, and uh, and you could you could navigate up to here. But I've, I've I redid this bridge and made this navigable all the way through, so you can actually have ferry routes going all the way up there if you really wanted to, which is uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I redid the the roads up here because the way it was before wasn't particularly accurate. Um, and now we've actually got a fairly accurate representation of Broadway um, running up here and then up through Harlem, up through Upper Manhattan. And then it kind of comes over to this side and then suddenly swings around that way and goes across there. So that's that's a little bit more accurate now. Um, oh man, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, there's, lo there's loads and loads and loads of like little changes and whatever that I've made. But the, um, the other thing that I've done is if we go up here, you'll notice that we've got some farmland up on here, up here. And that, that mirrors farmland that um, actually exists on the map. If you, if you look at a map, you'll see uh, there's, there's lots of farmland up here in between, uh, kind of like above Riverhead, uh, between uh, uh, Matiuk and uh, Baiting Hollow. Uh, and it it actually extends a bit a bit further than that, but I've just put I've just thrown in a, a couple of farms to kind of be representative of that. And maybe for some people, having those two farms there will kind of help them start uh, maybe a bit of industry going on or whatever. The other thing that I've done is uh, I've left I've I've made Greenport and uh, Montauk slightly bigger than all the other towns. All the other towns are as small as they can be, which is um, size 50 which gives you a population of about 63. Yeah, they're all 63. And then if we look at Greenport, you'll see that Greenport's a little bit bigger. They've got a size of 90, which uh, gives you a, a population of 113. Awesome. And the reason for that is because when you put, oh, and, and Port Jefferson as well uh, is larger. And it's because Port Jefferson in Greenport and Montauk are the, like the terminal stations, the terminus stations for the various branches that come out here. So having those a little bit bigger gets you, gives you a few more passengers which just makes the lines a bit more profitable, which uh, which can be like a lot of help. So there you go. That's the map. I just wanted to show it off and um, let you know that it was on the Steam Workshop. Give you the link. The the series uh, Long Island Railroad version 2.0 uh, with hopefully fingers crossed will be tomorrow. So um, if you want to if you want to watch that, look out for that tomorrow. Uh, I hope a few of you uh, give the map a try, and uh, and if you do. Let me know. Leave me a comment. I mean, let me know how it goes. I'll be very interested. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. Uh, I hope you're uh, hope you're signing up for the for the new series tomorrow. Other than that, I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.